are you two? You don't have to act so snooty just because you've been to Boston. Mm. Why, say, Master Fodderwing, mm -hmm. were there fresh girls like this one back in Boston? Ha! Of course not. They were all fine ladies there, Master Jody. Mm-hmm. You're telling stories. I won't listen to any of your tall tales. Oh, that's really a shame. You see, I thought you'd want to hear about riding on a train, or gas lights that are brighter than oh. daylight, or Boston sights. <laughs> mm. And then there was the college, too. That's right. We're probably the very first 11-year-olds who studied at the college. Eh, Master Fodderwing? Mm-hmm. You're lying. It's the truth. Master Fodderwing, don't expect a mere country girl to believe it. What's that string around your neck? It's a new fashion called a necktie. Oh. It'll probably be popular around here in about 10 years or so. No one would wear it. It looks like a dog collar. What? A dog collar? Uh. That's right. Oh. Here's how it works, Jody. Oh. 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 Mm. Uh. Hey! Look! Hey, Buck, it's me! It's Fodderwing and... Uh-oh. I'm back! Whoa. Ah. What are you two doing back so soon? Did you come to meet us, Buck? Mm. I know you weren't expecting us. We're early. You sure are right about that. Were you going to the store? No. I had just had something I had to do here. But I sure didn't expect to find you two back already. What? Oh, oh it's nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> hey, Buck, I delivered that gift you gave me to Miss Twain. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah, mm. she was real happy about it, wasn't she, Fodderwing? She was. Oh, is that so? Don't that make you happy, Buck? Oh, uh, and why yeah. should it, Jody? Because. Well, that was just my way of thanking her for taking care of you two, and that's all. Oh. Don't you like her? <laughs> Jody! Did they teach you to be a smart aleck in Boston? I'm sorry, Buck. How's Flag doing, anyways? Hmm. Uh, well, I haven't been by your house in a while, but I imagine he's doing okay. Yahoo! Can we go faster? Oh, sure. Yeah! <laughs> Home? I gotta go home first. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take you home later. Whoa! Whoa! Everyone's busy out back, I guess. Hey, Buck, I think I'm gonna walk on over to my house. Now, you just wait a minute. But I wanna see Flag. Hey, wait, Jody. <laughs> I gotta tell you the truth, Jody. Huh? Back it! What is it, boy? You should be welcoming me home, little feller. Is there something wrong with you, boy? Is there something in there, boy? Found flag? Flag. Flag, what in the world are you doing over here, boy? The truth is that Flag's been missing for the last few days. I guess he was here. Flag. He probably came looking for you. Remember, you brought him here when this was our classroom. That's right. So he came here to find me. Oh, Flag, I'll never go away without you again. I promise. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, Penny! Hey, you found Flag. He was in our barn. Welcome back home, Jody. Glad you're home, son. I was so happy to be back home. I felt like shouting it to the whole world. But I was so filled up inside, I was afraid I'd bust out crying if I tried to say anything at all. It felt so good just to be standing right in my own front yard. With Ma and Pa there, I, I sure had missed them. And then there was Flag. I was holding my little brother in my arms again. Hmm. That's how I felt, all right. My first real journey was over. I'd seen a big part of the world. And somehow I was different. I felt good about having left, but I felt even better about coming home. <laughs>